Hello everybody. I want to um, quickly show a video of how the two import templates uh, for Arbiter operate. Um, now you could be a uh, an assigner or you could be a school that your assigner sent um, sent this template to you asking you to fill it out and uh, sending it back so that so that they can just um, take what you have filled out and import them into uh, into their arbiter uh, uh, account so that they can get the games in and assigned so with um, with that let me show you the old template and the one we're looking at right now is the old template or the classic template and the 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 I'll show you the differences between the two so you know which one you're looking at but with with the um, and actually you could probably ask your assigner which one he gave you anyway but with this template you can only do a level at a time now that doesn't mean that you can't put your entire schedule on here and then the assigner has to do with it what um, what he needs or a signer, you you need to um, understand that if it comes back with all levels, varsity, JV, whatever the case may be, on this sheet, you'll have to do it a level at a time. Okay. Now, for the sake of example, I've only created uh, five games, and with the level of varsity, when I go into the other template, I'll actually create um, more games, but. But with all that said, it's really easy date. Um, so I can go, uh, let's just say 9.15. And since if I hit enter, it takes me to, uh, to this year. This works off of military time. Uh, the, the, the time column does. So you can go, um, if it's 6.30, that would be 18.30. Uh, 5.30, 17.30. Uh, uh, four o'clock, sixteen hundred. So, yeah, it works off of military time. The sport is again volleyball. Uh, for this example, it is. It could be multiple ones, um, but but this little drop down you see here will give you every level that the particular assigner has. Um, excuse, excuse me, the particular sport the assigner has. Here's the level, and here's all the different levels that are offered by this assigning chapter. Um, now, in this case, here's varsity. Yes, alpha order. So, if you're looking for varsity, it's down at the bottom. Junior high, uh, middle school, freshman, however they've got it named, but in this case, we're doing varsity. The team, AM Consolidated. Now, the thing about this template is you have to have the same level listed here and here even though you got it here yeah a little redundant but it's just a requirement so you can either do what I like to do which is so what I'll do is in this template I'll fill out the first one and then drag take this little box right there and drag it down to however many I need and then I'll go copy paste and paste and that takes care of my levels okay and then the home team, or excuse me, the away team, we'll make it Abbott to make it easy. a and Consolidated is the site. We're going to be playing at the gym. And the same concept that I did with the levels can be done here, um, where if you know it's the gym, then you can just take the gym and drag it down. Uh, a lot of what I do to save time, um, just some tidbits, is I'll fill this out knowing that they're at the same place. And just drag them down like I do the level. But that's that is the old template. And some things that I want to point out, is, especially this, is this is every subsite that every site has. So with that being said, let me move to the new template. And I haven't built any games on purpose um, because I want to show you something. So. This template actually kind of assists you. Um, and by the way, the way to tell if it's the if it's the classic versus the new, this bar is colored um, versus that one, as you can see there. And 
there's a column E for partner, which is not listed in any of these columns. But the same functions that I didn't mention earlier, you see the little red uh, triangle in the corner of each cell, in the upper right corner of each cell. If you hover over those, it'll tell you what the requirement is or what the information for the, uh, for the column is. Um, so like I said, partner's not required. Sport, if the sport is not contained in the drop-down game, will not import. So it just gives you it gives you information. But let's just build a couple games here. So we'll go with uh, we'll go with three games. So I can it's the same operation eight one. I'm just gonna go off from that and notice that the cells turn red. That's the indication that something has to go there, or it will not import. Whether you are the school. It's your indication that you got to put something there, or whether you are the assigner, that's your indication that when you try to push it in, it will fail. So we'll go 8, 15, 9, 1. Oops, not 9, 9, 1. Okay. Time is not required, which is why that is not highlighted in red, because if it's blank, it will come in as TBA. Okay. So, so you don't have to put a time there. But if you know your times, then you can do the same thing as you did in the other one, 1800. It still works off of military time. Um, uh, 1700. And then uh, 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 1600. So you can do that. Game ID and custom game ID and partner are not required. Next up is sport. Now, this group only has volleyball, okay? And we're only going to pick from volleyball. If you were, if there were multiple sports there, one of the uh, fun features that this template gives you is that when you move to your level, it will only it will pare down the list of levels specific to that sport. And I'll show you when we get into the site and subsite. You'll it'll it'll you'll better understand it. The other thing about this um, about this template. And you know what? We can even do that. I'll show you that example too. Eight, one, and eight, one. What we can do with this is you can do multiple levels on this template and it will import just fine and it won't cause any issues. So that would be varsity for that game, JV for that game, and uh, freshman for that game. Okay. Um, and that that's what you could do there. Now, if you wanted to do all your varsities and all your JVs and all your freshmen, you can even bring in middle school to this. And if you're if you have to uh, put in middle school games, you can bring your middle school into this. So you could do like a nine one, nine one, um, uh, sixteen hundred, seventeen hundred, and then volleyball again. Now, the one thing about this template is it doesn't like the little trick of the drag down. Um, I've come to, come to found, find that out. But you can bring your middle schools in here. 8th grade A, 8th grade B. Um, or whatever your middle schools are. So, now come the teams. Uh, and notice, by the way, there's only one level column. You don't have any other levels here. So that's another perk because you don't have to worry about that. But then comes, I'll just stick with it, a and Consolidated. I'll drag that down. See, a red, a red team, it doesn't like that. The reason it doesn't like that is because it's looking for the freshman team. And now it's fixed. Same thing goes here. Now notice, I was looking at high school teams. Because I'm looking at uh, middle school levels, my middle school should show up. And there they are. 8th grade A, 8th grade B. Okay. And there's your teams. Same thing goes with the away teams. Now, these are not required. If you don't know your away teams, then you can leave them blank. So like, let's say that you don't know who's gonna fill your middle school slots. Then we can go Abbott High School, Abbott High School, um, Abbott High School. So those are the freshman game, but you don't know who this is. You can leave it blank and it will import as TBA that can be adjusted at a later date. The site, we're going to use a and Consolidated. Now, it does say you can use team defaults. If the group has team defaults, um, then it can be used, but that's more, if you're a school watching this video, that's more for the assigner because he's the one that's going to know if the, if the teams have defaults. You're not. 
and you, Mr. Assigner, if you if you know that uh, if you know that you've got default set, then you can come in here and and just just use that, and it will wipe that out because you don't have to worry about the subsite. But again, if you're a school, better off just putting what the site is just to help out the assigner um, and make sure that they know where the games actually are. Okay, so we'll go AM Consolidated, we'll do this for the middle school. Now, when I open this up, those are all the sites for this, excuse me, those are all the subsites for this site. Because if I go to middle school, it's not gonna be the same ones. See the difference? And that's one of the, that's one of the, uh, just a moment. That's one of the perks of this uh, template is that it pairs down the list for you. Because if you remember, when we looked at this, regardless of what it was, it brought in everything, right? Every subsite I had to pick from this and you don't know really what's what. But if I use this template, then I can open it up and this template knows that these are the sites for AM Consolidated High School and you can pick it, and these are the subsites for AM Consolidated Middle School. And they are going to be playing in the main gym, and these are going to be playing in gym two. Okay. So there's that. The bill to is a is a uh, is it a requirement? No, it's not. I didn't think it was. Um, this is more for arbiter pay reasons. Uh, I would still fill it out in the event that um, either you are or you aren't arbiter pay. Uh, but but this this column right here is what drives the payment. If the home team is charged with paying for the game, then that's where uh, then that's where that comes in, um, and you would have it separated like that. And that's really how to add games into the template. Now you can save this and email it back to the assigner, and they should be able to uh, uh, to save it on their machine or download it on their machine, and um, and then import it into uh, into their Arbiter One group, and the games should populate. Um, but that is how that's how you fill out the the import template and are able to um, to send it off to the assigner for them to import. So, hope that video helped. If you have any problems, again, feel free to reach out to your assigner, but also feel free to reach out to uh, to us as well at uh, uh, success at arbitersports.com, um, or excuse me, support at arbitersports.com, or you can call 800-311-4060. Thanks. Have a great day.